Good morning. Welcome to Anna's Mobile Home Life. And happy Thanksgiving. I hope you're all going to have a wonderful day today. I will be sharing what I'm making today for a dinner for myself. Some of you may have seen I had a grocery haul with the items that I would be making. So I will be sharing that with you in this video. So let's get started. Okay, my friends. I'm going to get some hard boiled eggs going. I have six eggs in the pot here. I'm going to turn you around. I'm going to get some water in there. And we're going to get these going. While they're getting started, I'm going to take you over to my crock pot and we're going to get the turkey going. Okay, if you saw my grocery haul, those of you that watched, I got this little three pound butter ball turkey breast roast. I'm going to cook it in the crock pot. The easy way since it's just for myself so I'm gonna cut that open gently because there is a gravy pack in there and I don't want to pierce it so I'm just gonna cut this netting off And try to trim this top open. I don't know where the gravy pack is. All right, I see the gravy pack. On the package directions, it says it, it's about two cups of gravy. You just put it and heat it up. I got to rinse this off. It's a mess. It says to store in the refrigerator until ready to use. So I'm going to get that in the refrigerator. Let me check the eggs because I want to hit that timer once they boil. All right. Now I'm just going to take the whole package and drop it in. It has netting on it. So I'm just going to leave the netting on. In this cup, I'm going to add... It says to add water, but I'm going to use chicken broth for more flavor. And per cup of, I'm using the Nor chicken powder, the bouillon powder. So I'm just going to add a, tea, a teaspoon. It's a teaspoon per cup. I'm just going to add some water to it. And as I dump it in, I'm going to mix it. Let me get a little spoon. It'll dissolve as it cooks. And then I'm going to add an additional half a cup with a half of the teaspoon. Of the powdered bouillon. So it's one and a half cups of liquid. 
It says water, but I'm using the chicken broth. Okay, and it says on low for seven and a half hours. I am going to put it on low for now. I'm not sure. I always use my crock pot on high. I'm not sure how the low setting works. So I'll try it for a couple hours, see how it looks. So I'm going to cover it. It is set on low. And we're just going to let that go. I'm going to set the timer on my stove. Let's see, I'm going to do... Sorry, guys. I got it set for seven hours, but I'm going to take a peek in between to be safe. Because I don't know how hot this gets. I never use the low setting. I'm always cooking everything on high. <laughs> if it's cooking too slow, I'll put it back up to high. So I'm going to turn you around and we're going to check the eggs. They're still not boiling. So I will come back. Uh, in a few, once the eggs boil, I'm just going to put them in a cold water bath and let them sit until I'm ready to make them. So I'll see you shortly. Okay, guys. The turkey breast has been in for like three and a half hours. This is what it looks like. It still has time. I set the timer for seven hours and it, there's still three and a half hours left so i'm going to keep my eye on it in the meantime i'm going to get you set up and i'm going to make some deviled eggs i'll see you shortly okay i have my eggs here there's six eggs i'm going to cut them in half we all know how to make them, but I figured I'd share my meal with you guys. Everything I'm doing. They look cooked nicely. I let them come to a boil and boil them for 10 minutes. And then I put them in some nice ice cold water for a while. So I'm going to cut these in half. All right. Now I'm going to take a little spoon and pop out the yolk. Hopefully I don't break the whites. I do that sometimes. And once I make these, I'll put them in the fridge for a little bit. A nice little treat to have. I love deviled eggs. Let me know in the comments if you're cooking today or if you're going to friends or family. I'm cooking all for my lonesome self. But I'll have all those nice leftovers to make some nice sandwiches and which will be great to have. All right, I'm going to set these aside. They're all emptied out. 
will get a fork. And I'm just going to mash these up, the yolks. There we go. That looks good. <clears throat> That's what we got, all crumbled up. I'm gonna add some mayo. And we'll mix that in. Needs a little bit more. It's feeling a little dry. Now I'm going to add some yellow mustard. Shake it up first. Mix it well. I'm gonna see if I have it, uh, a seasoning that I usually use. I'm not sure if I have it. Uh, sorry guys, I'll be right there. Here it is. I do have it, thank goodness. Celery salt. I love celery salt in deviled eggs. I'm glad I have it. I didn't even think of that. But I'm going to add some of that. And some pepper. And I'm going to stir it in once again. I'm going to give it a little taste. Yep, perfect. I just eyeball it. So now, I am going to fill them with the egg mixture, with the little spoon. This will be a nice treat. I, I love deviled eggs. When I used to entertain for a bunch of people, I always had those deviled eggs. People love them. Some people add relish. I don't care for them too much with the relish. I guess you have to have that taste for it in the deviled eggs. Have you guys tried the fried devil eggs? I did a video on them. I tried them once with bacon and 
That was different. <laughs> Very different. I'm going to have to go back and look how I made them. They were like deep fried. They were interesting though. Something different. Hopefully I'm not filling these too much. Then I run out of filling. After this one, I have two more to fill. There we go. One more. Do I have enough? Uh-oh. Let's see if we're going to make it. I do this sometimes. I get myself down to the nitty-gritty. Let me remove this out of the way. paprika I'm gonna top them with some paprika sometimes this doesn't come out right and I pile a ton on so I'm gonna try to sprinkle it on but it might come out fast There we go. Some of them have a lot, but I don't care. <laughs> um, so there are my deviled eggs. I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. And then next I will come back. I'm going to keep an eye on the turkey breast. And once that's real close to done or done, I will come back and we'll do the sides. So I'll see you soon. Okay, my friends, I am back. I'm getting ready to start the sides. I have some green beans here. I made some extra, so I have them on hand to just heat up. What I'm going to do, instead of cooking them in water, I'm going to use my chicken broth. So I don't know how many cups of water it's going to take to start cooking them, but we're going to work on that now. So it's one teaspoon of the powdered bouillon per cup of water. I did my dishes that I had already had dirtied up. So I'm going to add that teaspoon of broth and water. I'm going to do it this way. So I need one more teaspoon. Two teaspoons. Let's see how that looks. I think that's good enough. So I'm going to add an extra two teaspoons because I added an extra two cups of water. I'm going to stir that in, get them started. I like them a little bit nice and a little bit crunch to them. So I got to keep my eyes on those. My timer is showing that I have 19 minutes and 20 seconds left on that turkey. 
so I'm going to turn you guys around. And I'm going to bring you over to the turkey, and I may have to take it out of the crock pot and take the outside off. And then I'm going to cut it in half to make sure and see how far it's cooked or if it's done. Because I don't have a thermometer, unfortunately. So let me turn you guys around. All right. I'm going to pull that out of here. It's still on low. If I can get it out without... There we go. I have my scissors here. The netting I'm going to cut off now. And get that pulled off. Woo wee, that's hot. Okay, it may still need time. Let me flip it back over. Should I dare cut it? I hope it doesn't ruin it cutting it. But I just want to make sure it's done or close to done. So I'm going to just cut it right in half. Wow, look at that, guys. That is done. Excellent. I'm just going to set it back in there to keep it hot until my sides are ready. I'm starving. I didn't eat all day. I ate one half of a deviled egg. So I'm going to keep this here so when I cut up the turkey that it's available. I'm going to bring you back over to the stove. Okay. The green beans are still cooking. They're almost to a boiling point. While they're going, I'm going to get these Bob Evans mashed potatoes going. It says to remove the cardboard cover. It says to cut a slit in it to, to vent a little bit. And it says to microwave for four minutes. So we're going to do that. Okay, so we got those going. I'm going to get the water ready for the stuffing, which we all know how to make the box stuffing. Two cups of water. Okay, let me get the stuffing out. I'm using the stove top. We're going to get that started. hope you can see my lighting is let's see if that's any better a little bit 
So we got all that going. I have the gravy that came with the turkey breast. It says, put it into a measuring cup, which I don't have a glass measuring cup. Add water to make one and a half cups of liquid. Okay. These are boiling. Let me get back to that. I'm going to lower it down a little bit. The green beans. Uh, you know what? I think I packed other, uh, other pots of mine away so I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna make the gravy I do have a glass bowl here I can make it in that I'm just gonna it like that. I'm adding it right to the bowl. I'm, add a little bit of water. Give that a stir. Okay. Now back to the green beans. I'm going to test one. A little bit longer. Now the potatoes stopped. I hope you guys can see my counters cluttered right now with everything I'm cooking. It says to give them a good stir. All right, that's what they look like. And then it says to put them back in for an additional three minutes. I'm just gonna leave that over it. So microwave, another three minutes. The water is done for the stuffing. I'm going to add some butter.
And I'm just going to let that sit. Okay. Let it soak up everything. Turn that burner off. The green beans might be done. Let's give them a try. Mm. Not bad. I'm going to give them another minute or so. Perfect. You know what, guys? I tried that gravy. I honestly do not care for it. I don't care for it. So I'm going to add a, a can of the canned turkey gravy I bought. I'm going to add that to it. Maybe it'll give it more flavor. So I got to get my can opener. Sorry for being in front of you. Let me get that gravy open. Whoops. I'll be right there, guys. I apologize. I'm all over the place. All right, I'm going to add this gravy right to that. I'm turning off the green beans. That should be plenty cooked. I'm going to heat this up in the microwave. And I'm going to see if it's any better. Heat it up. But first, I have to get the potatoes out and check them. Give them a stir. They look piping hot. All right. They look good. Keep them covered. Next, I'm going to add this gravy to the microwave. Uh, I'll try two minutes first. Now, I'm going to open my cranberry sauce. Got to have cranberry sauce. It's not Thanksgiving to me without cranberry sauce. Okay, let me get a butter knife so I can get that out. Just going to set it to the side, its side. There we go. Now I'm going to turn you around. All right, I'm going to drain the green beans. to the pot. I'm 
I'm going to get some butter. Okay. some butter to the green beans. Stir them nicely. I'm going to add some salt and pepper. I'm going to let that butter melt with the green beans. I'm going to put this on low. Sorry, guys. I have you guys all over the place. But I'm making many things here. <laughs> and that is hot. Yeah, this gravy, if it still tastes the same, I don't care for it much. Let's see. It just has a very, very strange taste. I'm nervous about even putting it on anything. It can still be a little hotter. All right. While that's going, I'm going to cut up some of the turkey and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, everything is ready. I got my turkey, mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, green beans, and stuffing. I am starving. I can't wait to eat. I've been waiting all day. But I figured I'd share this with you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you so very much for watching. Time to relax and for a little bit, eat, and then I'm going to clean up my disaster mess. I thank you once again. I will see you next time.